I'm pretty sure that they, they said go see the doctor in Big Town. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Okay, I'll meet you guys over in Big Town. While we're over there, we're going to have her fix our head, too. Because we're not right in the head. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on uh, Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment Mod List. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to get started by going into Super Duper Mart and getting the lockers for our base. We're going to have to clear out the bandits again, which is good because XP and loot and so forth. Um, so we're going to do that first. And then if we have time, uh, where's your trader at? If we have time... Um, I have something else possibly planned for the end of this episode, so. That's weird that the problem is there, but there's no traitor. Okay. Anyway, yeah, let's get started here. Um, yeah, what, 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 uh, I'm going to do, I actually have some good news. Um, I think I figured out why I was crashing so much in the, in the, the sewers. Um, and I think it had to do with frame rate. Uh, I, I had a, a very, you know, my monitor has a very high frame refresh rate. It's like 160 hertz or whatever. And I had that maxed out. And I did a little bit of research on the Capital Wasteland Discord. And long story short, it seemed to be that high frame rate that was causing all those crashes. Um, and so, I you know, I dialed it down and then tested it. Went in and it didn't seem to crash. So... If we have time, we'll go back into that sewer. You know, that that was the sewer near our base. You know, they had the Frank and the Frankie and all that going on. And we'll see if we can actually finish that one out, too. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and hop in here. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, yeah, we're just going to, you know, we've already done this, of course. And there's nothing in here to, there's no loot left. We just have enemies in here. So I'm just going to quickly kill the enemies and then we'll grab the locker. So it shouldn't take too long. I think I'll, uh, you know, fast track this too, at least in terms of editing. Well, actually, mate, does, does loot respawn? Maybe loot does respawn. I'm not sure. I think what I'm going to do, too, for the raiders is I'm going to grab all their armor and dump it off by the front door. And then I'll just either make a couple trips back to Megaton to sell it or, yeah, figure that out later. Okay. Um, I, I was under the impression that loot didn't respawn, just enemies. I guess I am wrong about that impression, unless I just didn't loot everything last time we were in here. It's like some of it's respawned and some of it isn't. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Is that a dirty water? Yes, it is. We definitely want that. Oh, I got a caution here. For me, better hope I don't find you. <laughs> Down with the sickness.
Off with yo head. He did. I'm gonna tear you up. I'm gonna tear you up. Yeah, you tear him apart. Ah. Scared, just like a little bit. Okay, I think that might be all of them. Okay, we're over encumbered. So let's go back up to the front again and drop off the heavy stuff and I'll get it later. Oh, nice, a weapon repair kit. That's amazing. Yeah, I just... There's a few things in here. Like the weapon repair kit, for example. And that stim pack or antiseptic or whatever as we just looted. That I would not have left behind. So it makes me wonder if some of this stuff does partially you know, reset the loot. I don't know. I It's always possible that I just, you know, forgot it, didn't get to it, or did leave it behind because we were too full, but I wouldn't have left a weapon repair kit behind. Yeah, we've got to get that lock picking skill up. Okay, so... Uh, that's everything, I believe. Um, these are the lockers. The lockers are heavy and it will take a few hours to drag them back to Springvale. Travel now or leave this alone for now. Oh, so does that mean it's going to do like a cutscene? And because, and you know, to simulate me driving, uh, dragging them back, which of course makes sense. That means I will have to come back then and get all that other armor and then bring it back again. Um, sure, let's do it. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so it's just simulating me taking four hours. Oh, look at this. We got storage. Oh, this is beautiful. Miscellaneous supplies, trade supplies, melee, fire. Oh, they're even labeled, too. I love it. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to have to um, spend some time. I'll do it off camera and organize all this. See, we even got stuff for ammunition. Oh, this is great, you guys. Freaking amazing. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at uh, the quest now. Salvage a bed frame, a refrigerator, and an oven from the ruins of Springvale. Alright, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to go all the way back to Super Duper Mart and grab all that shit. Take it to Megaton and sell it. I don't think I'll show you any of that stuff unless... You know, unless there's something they have that's really amazing. Um, that's kind of a nice SMG. A Heckler and Cock. And then, um, so right now I have 446 caps. And I'll just show you how many caps I end up with when I'm done. And then, then we'll go looking for the refrigerator, the stove, and the bed frame. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. Uh, we are back at... The base here, and I did take some time to sort out all of my inventory. 
So everything here in this crafting components bin is either ammunition or um uh whatchamacallit? Yeah, all the stuff that has the hammer and saw. Um I don't have anything in spare parts at the moment. Now I I, I don't know this for sure, but I suspect that this might be an auto crafting situation. Um, you know, where it just pulls stuff, break down med kit out of here. But I, I guess I'm not, I don't know that for sure. Um, and then over here, I got all of my handgun ammo in this one, energy weapon, ammunition, rifle and shotgun ammunition. And I don't have anything in the special weaponry. Uh, nothing in, this is just a general ammunition box. Over here we have um, trade supplies. So this is all the stuff that uh, I'm going to sell. I, I just, Moira basically ran out of money. Um, speaking of which, I now have 998 caps. Uh, so I'll just have to sell that stuff later. Uh, this is melee weapons. These are firearms, energy weapons, heavy weaponry, explosives, special weapons. Um, here I've got... Uh, yeah, and it, wait, what? Miscellaneous weapons. Yeah, miscellaneous storage. Um, I have my extra stealth boys and binox in there. This has all of my aid stuff because there isn't a place at this point to store food and drugs, but that'll probably come later as we continue to, you know, build the place up. So I just have it in there for now. And then this is all light armor. These are armor, my best condition armor pieces that provide things like fire protection or explosives and whatnot. Uh, so we're keeping those. Medium armor, which I don't have. Heavy armor, which I don't have. Power armor, which I don't have. Uh, this is clothing. And this is my extra backpack that I have. Okay. So, yeah, this is cool, man. I really, really like this. I'm, I'm very much enjoying this, uh, this mod and fixing this place up. And, you know, having to go on the missions to do it, too, so the game doesn't just give it to you. Really love it. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go look for a refrigerator, an oven, and a bed frame here in Springvale. I turned the quest markers off, so we actually have to look for them. I, obviously, we know they're around here somewhere. Um, so let's just start looking in all of the houses and see if we can find these things. And then my assumption is that's going to set up a kitchen for us. Oh, yeah. I How did I miss that? This is a cellar door that requires a key, which we don't have. Uh, so maybe that will... We'll get that later. Let's go up to this house. Foot locker. Here's a refrigerator. Uh, that doesn't give us the option to haul it back though so I'm guessing that's just a normal refrigerator let's go over to this house next activate dirty oven attempt to salvage this oven oh we have to have repair 25 oh no ah shit okay so yeah it's not gonna let me do it uh, is it wait what Did it let me do it? It did! I don't have repair 25. Oh, yes, I do. I'm sorry. I was thinking lock picking. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Excellent. So we can kick, cook stuff in here now. All right. We just need... Uh, kitchen oh hold on we have drawers and a locker ah nice okay so i guess we do have storage in the kitchen so what i'm going to do then is um open this and we'll take all of these items I don't know if these were here before or they popped in when the oven showed up. I'm, I, I never bothered to check. Okay, so we're supposed to get a refrigerator too, aren't we? That's right. I forgot about that. 
All right, I tell you what, let's just put everything, uh, all the eight items in here for now until we get the fridge, and then I'll figure out how I'm going to, you know, sort out all of my aid stuff. Okay, let's look for the refrigerator and the bed frame next. So we found the oven in this house. Uh, so let's start looking over here. This is uh, what's her name's house. The lady that Moriarty, Moriarty wanted us to take out. We'll leave her be. All right, nothing there. I don't think we can go inside of this house. Oh, here we go. Weathered refrigerator. Uh, uh, repair 20. Yep, we got it. Nice. <laughs> Look at that. We got a refrigerator, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so let's go into here. And anything we need to keep refrigerated, we will put in the fridge. Which is pretty much all of that. Okay, we'll figure out what to do with those drawers, too. I love it. We don't know how to make steamed Marler, do we? Or do we? Oh, we do. You need purified water to make it. That's fantastic. Okay. I figured we'd have to find a recipe for that, but I guess it comes with the stove or something. Last thing we need to do is go find the bed frame for this next part of the quest. So let's go this way. Got a cabinet here. Is this it? Yep, this is it. Nice. Attempt to salvage the bed frame. This will actually give us, I'm assuming, a decent bed. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice. That dirty old mattress that was in the corner is gone. And now we have a bed with a shiny blue bedspread. What time is it? 7.03 p.m. Okay. I don't think we need to sleep quite yet. How close are we to leveling, by the way? Oh, yeah, it shows us it here in the in the main menu. Okay, so we're about almost three quarters of the way to level seven. Gotcha. Okay. Um, all right. What is the next Springvale thingy you want us to do? Let's go to data. Springvale garage. Check Springvale school for further salvage. Okay. So here's what I think maybe is going on here. We, we cleared the Springvale school a long time ago and I found an armor crafting station in the basement, but I wasn't able to do anything with it. And I think it's probably because you have to follow this quest in, in order, in order for that stuff to activate. So why don't we do this? Why don't we run into the Springvale school? Uh, we'll have to, I mean, we could do the same thing we just did with super duper. And I could just clear the whole place. Cause that way we can get the loot and the XP and the ammo and everything else. Right. And then see if we can grab that, that bench in there because I know like I said I know where it is but um, I just at the time I wasn't able to do anything with it so let's give this a shot literally and figuratively lots of shots preferably to the head of Raiders you get the idea um I think we clear the whole thing, too, just here again because of the XP and the loot and all that. But I will edit it. I'm not going to show you everything. I'll, I'll mostly just show the kill shots and all that kind of stuff. 
Okay, let's do this. Boom, headshot. Need to hide. It'll all Shit. Come out and fight. Get back, you monkeys. I got first call on the good. Alright, here is the bench. Activate. Attempt to salvage the bench. Um, I didn't actually clear out the ground floor. Uh, I did the top floor in the basement, so I want to go back and clear out the ground floor too, just to get the loot and the XP. But, look at this! Very nice. We now have our own reloading bench. That's amazing. Okay, so we have a workbench and a reloading bench. Love it. All right, I'm going to drop a few things off, and then uh, we're going to just go back and finish out those raiders. So this is our vendor chest. Um, 
one thing I actually want to do is I want to see if anything that we just looted is in better shape than what's already in here. We're not even using Badlands armor. We are using Blastmaster. Okay, what we have is in better shape. We're not using Pain Spike or Sadist. Blastmaster helmet. Not as good as what we have. And no more. You know, I w yeah, we are using Wastehound for radiation resistance. Still not as in, as in good a shape as what we currently have. So the rest of this we'll just throw in here for vendoring. All right. In terms of weapons... They didn't... Uh, they didn't really have anything special. They did have a a couple of cult range masters. Are they in better shape than the one I have? Not really. Okay, so we'll just keep the one we have. The rest of these we're gonna I think we're just gonna sell. Oh, we got another needler pistol. which is actually in a little bit better shape than the one we currently have. I'll probably never actually use that, but it's kind of a unique or at least a rarer item. So we'll hang on to it for that reason. And then all of these weapons here can just go in here for selling later. Mantis Gauntlet. Bonus critical strike chance. Damn, that thing's 10 pounds. But it is unique, um, or at least rare. So I think we'll hang on to it for that reason. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go back and finish off the Raiders on the ground floor. All right, guys. Um, I wouldn't went ahead and cleared out the ground floor uh, back over at the school, killed another, I don't know, five or six raiders and got the usual stuff, nothing to write home to mother about and have all that stuff now put away and ready to sell when the time comes. We've got a lot of loot in here, all of this stuff here. So um, what we're going to do now is I had mentioned, you know, that maybe we'd go check those sewers out, but I, I think I want to just keep going on the, the quest. Maybe we can hit the sewers in the next episode. So let's go to data and we need to salvage medical equipment to build a first aid station. I'm pretty sure that they, they said, go see the doctor in big town. Yep. That whoops. Uh, leave it. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Okay, I'll meet you guys over in Big Down. While we're over there, we're going to have her fix our head, too. Because we're not right in the head. Oh, shit! Super Mutant! I thought we already took care of these guys. Yeah, grab that. What the hell just happened? Oh, I don't know what just happened, but uh, not good. Run! <laughs> I can't run. Okay, fortunately for us, he's stuck. Did how did how did my did bloop, I'm so confused. Was that my own mind that went off? Um, let's get this out and switch to armor piercing. Oh, he's he's crippled too. Okay, you know what? Let's um, 
Let's give him a nuke a grenade. And we threw it we threw it too far. Oh my god. Okay, um Yeah, we can't run because I think our leg is screwed up. It might be our arm based upon or maybe it's both our leg and our arm. <laughs> oh gee, it's everything. <laughs> Good lord. Oh shit. Okay. I don't know if that was our own mind that went off or if he threw a frag at us or what. I'm I'm totally got confused about that. Wow. Okay. Talk about getting the shit beat out of us. Okay, let's splint the legs and arms up anyway. Oh, man. Okay. And then we'll do an antiseptic and a bandage. Uh, I don't even want that rebar club. It's not worth it, and it's very heavy. My guess is that he... He must have thrown a his own frag at us or something. Hopefully he's the only one that was here. Are these guys left over from before? Yeah, they must be. Where's everybody at? Did the super muties kill them all? Hmm. All right, let's go talk to the doctor. Hey, doc. Yeah? I'm not right in the head. You ever do a face job on an android from the north? Oh, that's from that other. Okay. You're not kidding. You're in bad shape, friend. I'd be happy to fix you up for 150 caps. Remember that favor I did for you? Okay, here's your caps. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> nah, just kidding. It will probably hurt a lot. Hold still. <laughs> Shit. It's funny. You're all set? Are we done here? Um. <clears throat> sure. What do you have for sale? Give you the pre war money and all of this. Crap that I forgot to put in my vendor chest after we finished with the. Actually, I want to put. I want to put a couple plates in our cupboard and four cups and four plates just just for role playing purposes because you know we have a kitchen now so we need we need stuff to eat on dinnerware. Okay, I'm gonna buy your doctor's bag. Um, and a couple more splints. You've got, you've got dirty water. You know, I'm actually in pretty good shape on water overall. I will take your rat away though. I think it's down to 552 caps, but I mean, I have I have more stuff than I'm gonna be able to to sell unless you know Moira resets and Lucky Harith or one of the other vendors shows up. So I'm not really too worried about money right now. We're in pretty good shape on money. Um all right, let's go ahead and exit Thanks. out of here. I don't really well, I don't really want to focus on that Android uh, quest now. Thanks again. Is, is she, like, really short, or am I just really tall? I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's see here. We should now be in good condition limb-wise. We don't have that much radiation. We have no negative effects. Yeah, we're actually in very good shape now. Um, So we need to find... Oh, <laughs> squeeze me. Goodness. We need to find... This thing, oh, here it is, right here. Welcome to my clinic. If you're hurt, 
then you're in the right place. Is he alive? Put no, I'm not gonna put him out of his misery. Jesus. Um, activate empty medical supply box. Take the unused medical supplies. This uh, the first aid kit is empty, and the collapsible surgical cart is filthy and rusted. No good to anyone here, but they can easily be repurposed as a first aid station for the garage. With some repairs and cleanup at the workbench. Okay. Nice. So we have to uh, we have to do that at our workbench. Gotcha. We'll take that empty syringe. Why? I don't know. Hey there. Are you hey there. hurt? Uh, not now. Not no more. See you later, Red. Hey, where's all the people in town? Are they all dead? I mean, I don't remember all of them dying. I thought most of them survived that big battle we had. Maybe they're just in their homes. There does not appear to be anybody in here. There's no one at the guard station any longer like there used to be. Clubhouse. Let's take a shot glass and a cup because we can. Oh yeah, we need a, a cooking pan. Already got it. Plates. We need an egg timer because, you know, we might, and a butter knife, and a fork, and another fork in case we have a visitor, and another butter knife in case we have a visitor, and a third fork in case we have two visitors. They'll have to share the butter knife, though. Okay, anyway, uh, I don't see anybody here. I mean, as cruel as this sounds, the doctor's really the only one we care about because she's the only one that can do anything for us, but still, kind of sucks. All right, let's go. There was that one, um, lady. Okay, this is a common house. Oh, okay, Bitter Cup is still, uh, I think you're alive. Yeah, she's alive. Okay, good. Hey, I'll take that. Oh, look at all this silverware. Yeah, we need spoons, too. Right? Um, how about a glass pitcher, in case we want to serve beer, and another metal cooking pot, and a cooking pan. We're really getting set up now in our kitchen. Sure, we'll take a couple milk bottles. Uh, did I, uh, there we go. There's the other butter knife. So now we can have up to three people come over for dinner. Okay. Guess I'll take the paint gun. Let's check this last house. No, this is Red. So Red and Bittercup are the only two survivors in this place. Wow. I did not realize all the rest of them had perished. But they're not around. Okay. Well, let's go back home and get this medical station set up. Okay, go to the workbench. Go to Springvale Garage Build First Aid Station. We need two blood packs. Okay, I put all of my medical stuff in here. Oh, no, I guess I just put my drugs in there. If we use a blood draw kit, that gives us a blood pack. It takes 40 hit points away. All right, well, we could do that, or we could go into town and see if we can sell some stuff and buy a blood pack from the doctor. I don't know how long that will last, um, you know, the, the endurance. Let's just try it and see what happens.
Okay, if we go to stats. Okay, so we have a blood draw kit debuff. I have to think that that goes away uh, over time. Okay, so now we should be able to do this. Here we go. Springvale Garage, build first aid station. Four hours. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, that is cool. Okay, now we have a place for medical supplies. Uh, sit in the chair. All right, so this is where we sit when we need to fix ourselves up. That's cool. Everything else here is just static decoration. All right, very good. Let's go grab our drugs and put them in our medical station. And I think pretty much all the rest of our medical stuff we're just carrying with us. It's a nice little touch, though. I like it. There we go. Let me put a few more items in there. Oh, we need to read this Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor. That's permanent uh, to barter. Should have done that a long time ago, so we've been carrying that for a while. Um, aid, books and magazines. There we go. Plus two barter. It's a beautiful thing. All right, what, what's next on this quest here? See if we can get this knocked out. Take the broken radio and repair it at the workbench. Uh, broken radio. Right here. We, uh... We got a carton of cigarettes from picking up the radio? All right, let's see here. Springvale Garage. We need a conductor and two scrap electronics. We have enough repair. Uh, oh, shit. We, we need a repair of 40 to do that. All right, so what that means then is... Do I, whoops, do I have any min tats? Doesn't that increase your, I don't. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to wait on that until we can level and we're getting close. And then when we level, we need to we need to put four points into lock picking so we can get to twenty five, and we need to put at least three points. Uh, here, let's look at that again. Yeah, we need to put at least three points into repair to get to forty, since I don't have a repair magazine. Let me double check that. I'm pretty sure that I don't. I do have a repair magazine. I'm uh, I thought I used that. All right, um, then in that case, we need one conductor and two scrap electronics. One conductor, two, uh, two scrap electronics. All right, let's eat this. And we should be able to make this. Springvale Garage Repair Radio. Here we go. Two hours. Now repaired. The caravan radio can be used to contact numerous trade caravans that roam the capital wasteland. Barter caps for upgrades to the garage or leads on them. Oh, we're done. Okay. Springvale Garage. And we also leveled too. Um, all right, so this we can like call in traders with this contact. Oh, we can do repairs too. 
Oh, we just trade right to the radio. Oh, how convenient is that? And it's got almost 1,200 caps, too. Wow, that is cool. Gunrunner's 9mm pistol. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, I mean, damn. <laughs> you know what I wish that, that, that's just a little OP, I think. Um, What I think it should do is I think you should, it, at the very least, it should make you wait for, you know, let's say Lucky Harith can be here in three hours, right? And then make you wait three hours and have him show up outside the door. That's probably not, would not be an easy thing to, to script, though. Um. All right. Well, you know what? It, we went to all the bother to, to get it set up. So we're going to use it. Um, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Okay, so let's just take all of this stuff. Yeah, oh, you know what might actually hold on before we do that. Let's go to here. And I'm just going to put all of my stuff in here so I don't accidentally sell what I don't want to. And then we can just do a take all when we're done. Okay. Um, let's go back into here for a minute. And we need... Four forks. We need four butter knives. Okay, we need we're gonna have to find another butter knife. And we need four spoons. Um What are they? Are they called something other than spoon? Metal spoon. All right, let's go into our kitchen and we'll put all of our dinnerware in this drawer here. We're just doing this for funsies, of course. And some shot glasses, too, in case people want to come over and have whiskey. Okay, so our inventory is completely empty. I want to put my bartering uh, clothes back on. Okay, now let's let's grab everything out of here. I'm just going to sell until this thing runs out of money, and then we'll buy as needed. Okay, so that gets us to 737 caps, and they still have 457 left over. Um, okay, so that gets us up to 1289. I'm going to buy, I mean, I think we're in pretty good, sh actually, you know what, let's do this, let's exit out of that, and let's get our stuff, so take all, then we can kind of see what I need. Okay, so we have 62 308s. We have 41 357s. I need 45 auto rounds. How are we doing on 10 mils? Now yeah, we got lots of 10 mils. Uh, I want 
the 556 five, armor piercing. Let's get these pulse uh, slugs for robots. Otherwise, we have 75 normal rounds, so we're doing pretty good on that. Uh, we'll take an antiseptic. I think. What? How many of those do we already have? Oh, you know what, though? Yeah, we'll take one. I Because I put some of those in storage. Blood draw kits. Psycho. We'll take the dirty water. Wild punga fruit. Take the steamed marlock. You know, <clears throat> you can buy steamed marlock from the traders for one cap. To make it, I have to use a purified water. Uh, oh, yeah, weapon repair kit. Locksmith, yeah, we'll take that. Uh, no, I think I'll leave those. Okay, I think we'll leave all of that stuff. That's a cluster grenade. Satchel charge. That does some damage. It's expensive, though. Okay. So that leaves us with 1,122 caps. Um, And this still, you know, has 624 caps left that we can sell even further stuff. Now, what, um, what kind of repair? Oh, you have 15 repair scale. Okay, never mind. So, yeah, I mean, that's really cool. I it, I feel like it's just a little OP, though, but, I mean, whatever. We're, we're, we'll just take advantage of it. Um, But that's it, guys, uh, for for the quest to fix our place up. Um, It said something about um upgrades. That would probably be miscellaneous, right? Oh, yeah, okay, look at this. Bobblehead display, floor decoration, clutter. Well, oh, this shit is expensive, though. Follower bunk, furniture. I would think the garden supplies. And didn't they say something about a water purifier thingy? I wonder where we get that. Wow. Okay, now that I'm seeing the price on some of this stuff, maybe this isn't so OP. <laughs> We're going to need it. Goodness gracious. Just looking at the mods there. Okay. I'm going to take the wrench and the wonder glue and... Yeah, those things, just because I know we need those for making our own repair kits. Now, speaking of which, what does it, what do we need to make a weapon repair kit? We need repair 50. Duct tape, scrap electronics, scrap metal, wonder glue, and wrenches. Okay, so those five items we, we definitely need to hang on to, and I don't think I'm going to continue selling scrap metal to... Walter, since I know we need them for this now. Very cool, though. Uh, I'm I'm really enjoying this. I hope you guys are, too. You know, this, this whole little, all the stuff. I mean, we had to work for this place. We really did. It wasn't just given to us. Um, and uh, it was a lot of fun to do that. And there's still, you know, upgrades and, and things for us to save up for, too. So definitely more incentive to continue making money. Anyways, um, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Uh, let's tentatively plan on hitting that sewer, the Frank and Frankie sewer, to start the next episode. I have no idea how long that's going to take. It might be fairly quick, or it might take, you know, the entire episode. But we'll plan on doing that, and then after that, we'll kind of see where we are and go from there. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.